Okay, what's the top comment? Do the process of going to the nether, exploring the nether, but another person has to commentate the video. This can be anyone apart from you, so family, friends, and you have no control over what they say. So this should be fun. Thanks, Lucy. I literally have no idea who I'm going to ask to do this. But we've got to get the process of literally getting the stuff to go to the nether. So I need to go mining to try find some diamonds real quick. So we're back in my fantastic world. Welcome back. Hit that bell. No, seriously. Hit the, be hit the bell. Hit I Next to the subscribe button. Hit the, hit the bell. Do it. Do it now. Appreciate that. And also, if you do want a chance of being the next top comment of what I do in the next episode, comment down below right now. And everyone commenting, go through the other comments and thumbs up the ones that you like. Right, now I need to go mining and <laughs> get some diamonds to get a pickaxe, to get obsidian, to go to the nether and let someone else talk about my video and say whatever they want. The problem is, I've got an iron pickaxe here. Oh wait, no, I've got loads of iron. I've got tons. Right, I'm just gonna cook some food before we go and then we're gonna head off. Um, I'm probably gonna go down the same way as last episode, but do you remember where it was a bit, um, it was a bit mental because my, my controls were reversed? But this time, we should find some diamonds down there. We got the horse with no name. He's still chilling here. He's still having a good time. Yo, 10 pieces of meat will be enough. It'll be enough. Let's go. Let's try find some diamondos. Wait, I don't even know if I'm gonna have to find my way back. <laughs> Wait. Wait, I don't even know if I took the quads. Wait, I need to maybe go take the quads. That might be a good idea. Right, I've put it in my chat so I know where it is. <laughs> I know where my base is if I get lost. Because I, I, I need these diamonds. I need to explore down here. Right, there's torches around here. So I've been here. I have... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. There was this ravine bit. Wasn't there? I don't think anything was down here. I don't think so. But also, this is level 11. There's got to be diamonds down here. Like, 100%. There's lava pops. Hey, I found the lava pops. Please, please be some diamondos. Please be some, some diamondos. Oh, I just broke. Broke some stuff. Oh, there's none. There's none. I can hear more lava pops. We love lava pops. Lava pop. Diamondo? Maybe? No. I see lapis though. Oh my gosh. Jesus, get the life out of me. Come here. You really think you can hit me like that? Huh? Oh, creeper coming down. Creeper coming down. Explode. Thank you. Right. Keep looking around. I'm going to hit every piece of redstone I can because redstone has an opportunity of diamonds. Holy moly. I was so close to dying there. <laughs> All right. Come on. This, look, look how much lava there is here. This has to be. Has to be. Bro, are you kidding me? Zilch? What a man got to do to get a diamond around here? <gasps> I just found first one. Right. We've got one. My pickaxe is about to break as well. Oh, hello. How many? Yes. We can get pickaxe. Sweet. There we go. Dude, we've got we've got enough for um a pickaxe and an enchantment table. We needed five. That is sweet. Right, let's go back to a bit where there was loads of obsidian. And let's get all the obsidian we can. How many pieces do we actually need? I'm pretty sure you need 12 for the nether portal. And then also we need four for the enchantment table. So we need literally like 16, 16 pieces, which is, cr that's cr kind of crazy. 16 pieces. This, hey, this might take a while. Eventually. All right, we got 16 pieces. We're going to head back up. We're going to make our nether portal. We're just coming back up now. I'm just placing two torches there. We need to get way more torches around here. Let's quickly sleep and then let's, let's make it. Wait, I can't sleep. There's monsters nearby. Who? Oh, you. Hey, I... Put torches down there for a reason. Right, thank you. Oh my gosh. Dudes, I know. I'm cool, but leave me alone. Yo, I'm going to put my nether portal up in this mountain up here. I'm going to make it look cool. Like one day we'll, we'll design it and we'll make it look really, really cool and stuff. But for now, I'm going I'm to put it up here. I, I misplaced the block. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I need to get a flint and steel. Oh no, I have one. Awesome. Awesome. There it is. There it is. There's the nether. All right. We're going to head in. And whoever I chose to commentate over my nether adventures, enjoy. Hopefully, they don't... They don't...
pick on me too much. <laughs> Enjoy, everybody. All right, I'm going to be taking over from Jimmy here, but I'm going to be thinking in the mind of Jimmy as we go into this nether portal. And yes, this is the first time I've watched this through. He looks scared. I could tell he's scared. It's Jimmy. Of course he's scared. He's probably going to die at some point in this. I would be pretty shocked if he didn't die, to be honest with you. This is quite uh, an ugly spawn, isn't it? we got some soul sand. What's that? Oh, some of that red nether stuff. And oh, look, look at this stuff, guys. I'm looking at it over here. And those are some trees and some lava and some skeletons. And Jimmy, why are you not moving? Oh, okay, he's taking down the coordinates. That kind of makes sense. But also makes sense for Jimmy more than anyone because he would forget that. I normally would just take a screenshot, but no, he's written them in the chat on his single player world because he's got no one else to talk to other than himself. Straight over the soul sand. And is he going to be able to kill this ghast here? Probably not, because he doesn't really want to. As you can see here, the ghast is not interested, and neither is Jimmy as he walks down. Oh, what's he going to go? Is he looking for the fortress? What is his goals here? I have no idea. Maybe it is to find a fortress. Maybe it's to find a bastion. Ooh, eat the chicken. Good lad. There we go. And now we set off into a great adventure. Jump down here, but that's fine. A little bit of damage never hurt anyone. Wait, no, it does. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is quite an ugly biome, but he's seen a skeleton. Is Jimmy going to be able to kill this skeleton? He blocks an arrow. He swipes with his sword. He misses, of course, but this time... Does he land a crit? Of course he doesn't. Does Jimmy know how to crit? He doesn't care. He's just going to swipe him down until he's dead. And off we go. Has he spotted anything? No, he's just wandering around. Ooh, a pigman. Has he got any gold on him? That's the question. He does not have any gold on him, which is why he's being attacked right now. Jimmy, why would you go to the nether in 1.16 without gold on you? Are you, are you mad? Are you going to kill this guy? Oh my gosh, he's going to kill him. Well, he's handled that quite well. However, I would advise Jimmy in the future making some gold armor. Is that what he's going to do right now? Oh my gosh, if I just predicted the future, that would be absolutely crazy. But probably not. He might just be doing some trading, to be honest. Or is he actually going to make something? He's got a crafting table, uh, but I can't really tell. Instead, he's going to go for some glowstone. Okay, maybe he needed glowstone for something. Oh no, he's getting the gold. What am I talking about? Maybe he is actually going to craft some gold armor. I guess we'll find out shortly. Is that a diamond pickaxe? It is a diamond pickaxe. Unenchanted. But you know what? Jimmy doesn't need enchants because he is the king of slaying pigmen, as you saw earlier. Where's he going? Oh, he's going in here. Is he actually going to craft something? You've already got a crafting table, Jimmy. It's fine. He's realized that. And now he's going to craft some gold armor. Ooh, there's the ingots. And what's he going to make? Some boots, nice choice. What I would have done as well because they will reduce the damage a lot from the pigmen and he is happy with himself. Look how happy he is. He thinks he looks awesome there. Oh, and he's found a fortress. That happened quickly. Uh, we just cut and then now there's a fortress. That's cool. Is he going to be able to defeat some stuff in this fortress? What's he going for? Is he going to get some blaze rods or is he just trying to get, you know, I don't know. What else is he trying to get? Maybe it's just blaze rods so he can go to the end at some point. God. I hope someone else commentates that, but I have no idea who, but I hope they're having as much fun as I am. <laughs> anyway, he's found the fortress. It looks like a pretty terrible one, but that's okay. He's probably quite big and hidden around. Ooh, a chest. Jimmy, go to the chest now. Open the chest. What are you doing? Yeah, there we go. Ooh, gold and a saddle. That'd be useful for riding on some donkeys later. He's being really careful. He doesn't want to come across any of those dodgy withers, does he? What's always oh, and he's putting cobblestone down, kind of like Sands of Time in MCC, so he knows where he's he's been. Jimmy might be smarter than I actually give him credit. Look at this. And he's even found some diamonds. Beautiful. And never what? And another saddle for another donkey. That is crazy. Got his bucket of water out though. Jimmy, you can't use water in the nether, so I'm not sure why you've got that on your hot bar. But that's fine. You can just keep it there if it makes you feel safe. Ooh, taking the soul sand as well. Interesting choice to take this soul sand when there was like hundreds next to your nether portal. But that's fine. You can take the soul sand if you want to, Jimmy. You do you, alright? And he's also taken a lot of nether what, which makes me believe he did come here to do some potion brewing. What was that weird noise? I don't know. Probably a pigman or something. Ow, that hurt. All right. And he's got a few slimes on him here, or magma cubes as they're most commonly known, which is actually their name. And now he's trapped himself behind his magma cubes. Jimmy, run. Please just leave. You don't need to kill these. You don't need the magma cream. You've only got an iron sword. It's going to take you forever once they split off into little more magma cubes. But you know what? Jimmy's persistent. He wants that magma, whatever it is, the, the, blade, the circle thing. I can't actually remember what it's called. Maybe Jimmy will pick it up in a second and I'll see, but no, he looks like he's getting quite unlucky and hasn't got a single one yet, which is unfortunate, but maybe... Oh, careful. Oh, we nearly hit a pig one there. That would have been bad, but luckily he was very careful. Didn't seem to get any drops off those, which is a shame, but look, a blaze spawner. Let's kill some blazes now. 
Oh, shielding. He's being very safe here. Jimmy doesn't want to die. Is this a hardcore world? I have no idea, to be honest. I didn't really like look into it. I know it's just the comment one. I don't think it's a hardcore world, right? Because I'm pretty sure he just had to die for the first thing he did. Maybe he just doesn't want to die because why would you want to die in Minecraft? Oh, but he's being smart. Look at that. Made a little doorway so he can't get hit. And look, he's saving the coordinates of it as well. Jimmy, he's, he's being very safe here and actually being quite impressive with his never ways. Maybe he should do some speed running. I think he has done some speed running, although I'm pretty sure he's never set a time, which is fine. I've never done that either, and that's completely okay. But you kill that blaze, Jimmy. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, yes. Oh, another blaze rod. We're doing pretty well so far. I hope he's going to get more than that. Never mind, we teleported. And look, a strider, and he's got a saddle. Did he make one of those things, though? Has he got a fishing rod? If it's not, it's not going to work, Jimmy. He's going to try and get on it. But he hasn't got a fishing rod. I can't see any fishing rod in his inventory. That was a waste of cobblestone. You could have used that for building something nice, Jimmy. But he's still trying to find and get on this. Why don't you get that block of gold up there? That could be quite useful for trading with pigmen later. But no, he doesn't care. He just wants that strider. Unfortunately, it's wandered off. So I'm not entirely sure what the point of this is. But it's all right because he's going to get the gold now, which is what I recommended he did earlier. And hopefully he doesn't fall in lava here or the gold block doesn't. Nope, it hasn't. That's good. And he's going to get this one as well. Hopefully this one doesn't fall in lava. Oh, but look at this. Jimmy's reading my mind. He's being very safe here. And he's got the block of gold and everything is going to be fine. Although I don't know why he's breaching out into the open here. My gosh, please don't die. He's got so much cool stuff on him now. But he's trying to get this strider. Why is he so obsessed with the strider? The strider will only lead you where you want if you got the fishing rod with the mushroom on it, Jimmy. I don't know why you're trying to get on it. Is this going to be a disaster? Is he going to get on it? It's going to wander off. And then he's going to have to try and get back to safety somehow. Oh well, it looks like the strider's not interested because he knows Jimmy has no fishing rod and he's not interested because you need the fishing rod, Jimmy. This is frustrating me now. Oh, I'm getting annoyed. What is he doing? He's just looking around. Nope, he still wants that strider. He's still going after the strider, building in this diagonal line here. Oh, it's getting closer now. Put the saddle on it, Jimmy. Nice. And you've realised now that you can't control where it goes because you haven't got the fishing rod, Jimmy. How many times have I had to tell you this? And now you're stuck on there. Yep, oh no. Yep, carrot on a stick. It's not a carrot. It's uh, it's not a carrot, Jimmy. It's a mushroom. He's stuck. Yep, honestly. How many times did I say this? Literally how many times? You might have to put some Neverack around you, fella. If you can put some Neverack down there, you might get out. I've made a huge mistake. What was I saying this entire time? Oh my gosh, if only I was there, this would have all been avoided. But unfortunately, this is done after Jimmy's done this. Oh, what's he going to do? That's probably going to fail disastrously. Because if he does fall in the lava, he's not going to be able to jump out. Yep, yeah, see, that's gone horribly wrong there. Oh my gosh, Jimmy. What are you doing? Put the... You need to go... Break that. No, that's not going to work. Is that going to work? We'll find out. Is it going to work? Please tell me it's going to work. Oh my gosh, he's going to die. Oh no. Oh, he's on half a heart. Oh, that was so close. Oh my goodness me. Honestly, just panicked for a second there. He's put OMG. Yeah, I'm like... on. Kind of concerned that that was that close, to be honest. Eat food, man. Eat food. Don't try and jump off. You need to eat food. Why is he not eating food? He's not going to be healing up if he's not eating food. Honestly, this is like panic inducing. Why did I agree to do this? Just eat your food, Jimmy. You're on half a heart. Eat your food. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, this is infuriating. What is he doing? Jimmy, Jimmy, why did I agree to do this? Jimmy, eat your food. Oh my gosh, this is worse. I went, oh, he's made it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he's actually done it. Eat your food now. He's on half a heart. Oh, thank goodness, man. This the end bit of this, like at the start, this is quite enjoyable. I was like, Jimmy's being actually smarter than I thought he was. But he wasn't eating his food there. If he had fallen off there, he would be dead. But luckily, he's not. And he's going to kill the skeleton here as he's heading back to his nether portal. Oh my gosh, the shield broke. That was a uh, bad timing. But look at all that soul sand you could have got earlier, Jimmy. But oh well, in to the portal we go. That was fun. Uh, I enjoyed every second of it, apart from the part where he didn't eat his blooming food and he also got a strider without a stick. And uh, oh my gosh. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my little bit of commentary here. It was honestly fun and then frustrating, but also please in the future learn to play minecraft i like your bell though although your house is absolutely hideous what is this a cobblestone box I hope you guys enjoyed the video please make sure you do like comment down below as we said at the start of the video and if you do want to continue watching videos click one of these videos on the end slate thanks everybody and see you next time bye